Hey everybody and welcome back to my channel. My name is Rogan and you are watching This Bahamian Gal. This is the home of big hair, bold looks, and big laughs. I show you how to break the internet without breaking the bank. Today I'm filming here in my bedroom. Why? Because I'm going to be giving you guys a bit of a tour. Yes, I'm giving you a tour, but even more than that, more than that, I'm going to be showing you some of the cute pieces that I picked up from some of my favorite stores. And when I say my favorite stores, I'm talking about Home Goods, Marshalls, TJ Maxx, uh, Ross, Target, like those are my favorite stores. They're super affordable and they have great quality products like uh, my boyfriend over here. Mm, yeah, I killed him several years ago and I uh, kept his skull as a little keepsake because I'm a carb like that, but I'm a caring person. So I gave him a little wrap. So if you want to see him, because I bought him from one of my favorite stores, and all the other little cute little accents that I got to make my room cozier, then continue watching my channel right after my theme song. Y'all know me, I'm all about breaking the internet, not the bank. And so I went on a little shopping spree over a period of time. It wasn't like a, a day or anything like that, over weeks, because I really wanted to get some items that would really make my bedroom feel cozier. And I'm not about to go and spend hundreds of dollars to do that. I like weird little things. You guys know, if you've been watching my channel from inception, I love Halloween. And so one of the things that I got was this, uh, what you call this thing? Uh, skeleton head, the skull. So I guess I should call her, him Scully. Um, I'll be Mulder and this is Scully. I got this from Target for $8 and I absolutely love it because it has a little light on the inside and it's perfect for Halloween, but you know what? This is gonna be a year round thing for me, just as a reminder of my favorite holiday of all time. But I wanna take you all on a little room tour to show you everything that I picked up. Um, and the best part about it is I didn't spend a lot of money. In some instances, I didn't spend more than $5. Real talk, uno, dos, tres, cuatro, cinco, cinco dollars. Anyway, let me get into this video so you can see where I went shopping, what I got, and what I paid. Let's go. Okay guys, so I'm going to do this vlog style because I had you on my tripod or I had the camera on my tripod, but that is not the business because I need to be able to move so you guys can see everything that I'm seeing in real time. So uh, where do I start? Let me start with one of my favorite things that I purchased about two weeks ago. It is a wardrobe rack that I got for about $35 off of Amazon. I was running out of space in my closet, which you can see behind me. I hope you guys can see behind me because I'm not, I, I have it on my uh, rear facing camera, but um, I needed extra storage for my clothes because I have a lot of clothes. And so let me show you this beautiful bronze um, uh, wardrobe rack that I got. This was $35. I have some Christmas lights strung up on it. Um, and it holds my clothes so perfectly. Um, I absolutely love it. Hold on one second. I have my wig box down here. Uh, because I got to store my wigs, child. You see that? All my little, uh, I have a lot of wigs. A lot of wigs, folks. Let me see if I can close this one second. I like stuff to be neat. So I pulled out this little blue wig or whatever. Okay, so this is my wardrobe rack. Let me straighten this up. And I absolutely love it. It has some little weights down there. It has like, um, these little grates so you can put your boxes down here if you want to or you can put um, your shoes which I've done um, and it's quite a, a bit of space especially if I move these boxes I have a lot of space there but this rack is pretty sturdy um, and I love it because it holds all the essentials for me um, and you could jazz it up like I said with some Christmas lights I mean these aren't these are just they're not functional they're just for fashion and um, when I'm taking these things off, the hangers, I have to be super careful because they'll come off. But for, th and these, <laughs> I have a lot of clothes I have not worn. And I mean, I, to be honest with you guys, 
let me see here. I have not worn a lot of these items. I really haven't. Um, you see this skirt? Had bought this from a store in Nassau, never wore it. Bought this from Altered State here in Virginia. In Virginia, I'm in DC. Never wore it, never wore it, never wore it, never wore it. I wore this, I wore this, never wore this or this. Um, I wore this, I'm gonna give this away to someone. I might give it to one of my subscribers. Bought this leather jacket, never wore it. I've never worn it. Um, but y'all want a y'all want a jacket? It is fall. Let me know if y'all want a jacket down below. I might just give it to one of you guys for real. Cause I was just gonna donate it, but you guys have been really good to me, so I might just donate it to you guys. So that's my wardrobe rack right there. I love it. Has the little stops right here to prevent um, what do you call these things? The hangers from moving over, and I absolutely adore that. Um, the next thing is. I have lots of signs in the room that I love. I have to adjust my camera. I'm filming at night, guys, so, you know, it's gonna be a little bit more challenging. But I love these little signs. If you guys can see that. And I got these from, I got both of these from Home Goods. This one says, sometimes good things fall apart so better things can fall into place. I absolutely believe that. This one says, just a girl who decided to go for it. And I swear that's like, that's my thing. That's my mantra, basically. Um, but this this sign over here, um, even though it's a little shorter than this one, this one was for $12.99 and this one was for $9.99. And I thought it was pretty, pretty cool. Um, just, and I hung them myself. I hung them myself, I'm so proud of myself. <laughs> Um, but you know, if you want to jazz up your room, like little signs, quotes, they're the way to go. Sometimes you can even like, um, go on your computer. If you don't want to spend money, you can go to like the dollar store and get frames cause they have great frames and they're pretty inexpensive and you could print, um, your favorite quotes, go like, and just get them printed at like the, the Photoshop or like the Walgreens or something like that. Um, get them printed and put them, put them in the dollar frame and you probably will spend less than four bucks just to have something on the wall. I didn't do that in this case, but I'm telling you, I've done that before a thousand times, so it's an option. The next thing I, I'm gonna show you guys is this, um, what you call this thing? I always run, like I can never remember what these things are called. Like a, a book, not a bookcase, but like a stand, like a stand, and I absolutely love it. I spent $19.99 on this, and I got this from TJ Maxx. And I didn't, like, it's like a floating shelf. Yeah, a floating shelf. Um, I didn't want to have like the, the normal, like, you know, usually they just have this one and, and then that. Um, I have no problem with it, but I absolutely love the gold accent on this. I thought it was really cool because I had um, purchased this frame with this, I don't know if that's a fern or what that is. I got that from uh, Five and Below for five dollars got this this is a nice little potted plant thing it's artificial of course let me see if i can get it in the light real quick and i thought it was so cool again with the with the gold accent right there five dollars guys and they're so neat to put up okay um this was a gift to me years ago this is like, like i love cameras and this is like a piggy bank that's all that is this adorable little girl is me <laughs> and of course my name is Rogan and R is my favorite letter in the entire alphabet so I had to get um, this little R and it was like $9.99 I, I took off the the sticker but this was like nine dollars and ninety nine cents guys um, very cheap and then this Tiki Beach was from Bed Bath and Body Works what's it called where they have all the candles and all that other stuff yeah so I thought I bought two of these unless someone came in here and stole it. Did they steal it? Someone must have stolen my second. Oh no, they didn't steal it. I, I put it back because it had something sharp on it. Yeah. Okay, but I, I was gonna pick that up from, from uh, Five and Below. So this also came from Five and Below. If you can see that. It's like the moon, crescent moon. I don't know if it's supposed to be like a full moon, crescent moon situation. But I got that for like four dollars from 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 five and below, which I I just thought it was such a cute little accent, and I just put it right next. Again, it has the gold theme going. I love that. 
Um, I have some fedoras and so I just put them up on my wall uh, just as a nice accent, ni nice little decoration, okay? So let me see what else I got. Oh Jesus, y'all couldn't tell me that, y'all couldn't tell me that ring light was right there to hit me in my head? Boy, I thought y'all was my people. I thought y'all were my people. Uh, the next thing I got was a rug. You see this little rug? This came from, this was $9.99. And I love yellow. I have a cousin, she's the biggest hater on the planet. Yeah, you Chelsea. Every time I post something on my Instagram and it has a yellow theme, like she gets so upset. Like, sunny colors do something to her because she's evil and she has a dark heart. Yeah, you. But anyway, so I <laughs> I love yellow and so I had this uh, $9.99 rug that I thought was so cool and it came from uh, Ross. Again, these boxes, well not this wig box, this was a lace front box, but this box underneath here um, was $5.99 from out of Marshalls and I absolutely love it because it can put like extra, it's like extra storage for me, it's extra storage. This is my bed, guys. Um, only in the last year or so, I really got into a lot of pillows because I never used to be feeling, like for real, I'm like, who going to sleep with all these pillows on their bed, right? But I, I find myself just sort of like pushing them to the side when I need to, to nap, but I love the way it looks. It just makes the bed look so cozy. Um, and, uh, all of this, like the, 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 the quilt and the um, pillows, all of them came from Ross. Came from Ross and I love them. I think they're so cool. And again, yellow. Chelsea will be burning up. I know she will be, but that's okay. I'm a yellow girl. <laughs> I'm a yellow girl, okay? And then I have another rug that I got from uh, Ross. It's the same. It's the same rug, but it's just bigger. Um, and there it is and that one was for $19.99. So it's the same. It's identical. It's just bigger Love it and I when I got my rug I made sure to wash it like some people don't wash their rugs I mean some certain rugs you, you really can't wash you have to like sort of um, spot clean, but these ones were um, Small enough to go well they bend it, you know, they bend right up and so I could put them inside the washing machine and um, I got, gave them a good wash because people touch this stuff all day. So you don't wanna be just unfolding the rug and putting it in your house. You don't wanna do that, okay? So over here is my bag that I purchased. This this isn't wasn't part of my, my, what you call it, part of my haul, but I bought this bag when I was in the Bahamas where I'm from, of course, from a place called, um, oh Jesus, what's it called? The Craft Cottage. Craft Cottage, shout out to Nadine. So this came from Five and Below again. Uh, I love to hang my bags up. You know, the old folks say you, you like kind of attract hard luck if you um, put your bag on the floor. So I wanted to hang this up right here. And this is pretty sturdy. Um, just drilled a hole in there and put that there. And I love it because it has like a, I don't know, it looks like a Buddha, Buddhist, something I don't know it looks like it looks like the a hand as well so I love that five dollars uh my sign mother sick that came from the Bahamas and I love it and if you guys have, don't know what mother sick is please make sure to go and watch one of my Bahamian slang videos probably part one I think that's the first one I discussed it that's one of my favorite words Bahamian words and I'm not going to tell you what it is you have to go and watch that video and they'll tell you what mother sick means <laughs> but um over here I love sunflowers and so I got these from out of Target and it was like $1.99 for each one of them so I spent four bucks plus tax for these ones these came from Target as well uh, this one was like $4.99 <laughs> they're small but they're expensive like to me $4.99 is expensive for just like a single stem of whatever the hell this is uh, same thing here $4.99 $4.99 and these came from Amazon. I don't remember. I just remember they were all bent up and I was angry But I said, you know what? Let me use it anyway um, One of the things I'm going to be doing is using my chair more um, when I'm recording my videos for YouTube um, Usually when I first started YouTube guys, I'm not even gonna lie to you. I used to sit on a stepladder 
I used to sit on a stepladder because my computer chair was just too low and the stepladder used to give me a bit of height and I had absolutely no issue with it until my back started hurting because you know you have to you have to sit up for YouTube and I was like you know what this is ridiculous so I bought me um, a chair from Ikea and uh, it was not cheap it wasn't the most expensive chair but it wasn't cheap to me anyway um, but it was $35 for this chair it's a high chair and what I love about it is this is this is it it didn't come with this cushion I, I bought this cushion separately for five dollars from Ikea so in total it was like 40 bucks and I love it because it's comfortable it's a comfortable chair and um, you can fold it away like I didn't I don't have a lot of space in my room so I didn't need anything that is just too too bulky and can't be broken down very easily so I bought this chair and that's the stand and that's the you know you can rest your feet right there um, for for thirty five dollars, not not too bad. If I got it for twenty, that would have been better. They did have like chairs for nineteen ninety nine, but you couldn't fold them down the way you could do with this one. So I I passed on that. Um, my brushes and stuff I store in these little containers that I got from Marshalls. Um, these ones were like four dollars from uh, Target, uh, and I just love having them around. Um, I don't have a lot of storage as I mentioned, so I just I find myself um, purchasing these little plastic containers and I think you guys have seen these ones. They, they, they hold lipsticks as well and nail polishes and that sort of thing. Um, uh, and this one, this one was like six dollars. Well, they, they both were like six bucks. So that's not bad. And then I have like this little container to do mint. I know y'all don't know what the hell to do mint means. But this is this is just like a little container that has like all my my hair products and stuff in it, you know, my sunscreen, whatever. I had those stuff right there. So um, one of the things I was missing in my room was a mirror. I I desperately needed a mirror. I would usually just go in the bathroom or use like my handheld mirror um, or my 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 stand mirror when I need to to fix my makeup or whatever. And I said, no, I need one in my bedroom. And I mean, I don't even know why I was stalling on getting one. They're not even that expensive. This one I got from Ross for $12.99. And I actually, I was leaving the sticker on. I literally just took the sticker off before I filmed this because I wanted you guys to see it was $12.99, but it really is. Um, and it's just beautiful to me. I hope you guys can see the little detail. It's very um, Mesoamerican to me. <laughs> like I love these, this pattern right here. And even though it's not yellow, it, it's like it's like a beige. It's in that family, and I absolutely love it. Um, over here is my Martha Stewart uh, vision board that I have. Uh, I pulled my stuff down because I don't want y'all to see what's on my vision board. Mm -mm. That's between me and Jehovah Jireh, my provider. Like I, I, I am really funny about sharing my dreams and sharing my goals and that sort of stuff. Like, is that weird? Like some people just root against you. You know, you, you, and my dreams are crazy big. Like if you're going to dream, dream big, right? Don't be dreaming some stuff that you could achieve on your own. Like I need the anointing, the blood of the lamb of God. Zion Baptist Church. I don't even go to Zion Baptist Church, but I need all of them to conspire and pray to God that my dreams come true. So I have my um, my stuff up on this little board right here, and you can see my little thumbtacks that I got as well. Uh, this one was $19.99, and I got this from Staples, and uh, this was like $6.99. I just thought it was so cool because I didn't want the typical cork board, um, so. I skipped that. Um, my curtains go all the way up to the ceiling and as a result, they're too short. <laughs> so I need like a 95 inch curtain, but I loved this and I got this from Marshalls and it was $19.99 for two panels and I have two sets of um, curtains as you can see over there and here and so 40 bucks I got for, for these and I love them. They are supposed to be the type of um which we call it they're supposed to be the type to darken the room but they they don't darken it completely they darken it enough where you're not so disturbed but you know what's so funny it's like 
then I'll be like, I can still see outside, but the minute I open the curtain, the light really comes shing, right in. I'm like, oh, they were doing their job, but they're not as dark as the ones in like the hotel rooms where you could be in, in bed all day and not know it's morning, it's night, whatever, okay? So the next thing you guys saw in my lamp, this is a lamp that's been in my house for God knows how long, and I thought it wasn't working, but it is. And so that's not a part of it. I don't even know where that came from. Um, you guys saw my uh, Hair No Evil in my last video. Um, I think I got this for $12.99 from Marshalls. Um, and I have it in the video, so I'm pretty sure that was the price. And then over here, <laughs> I got this from Home Goods, and I said that in, in the in the last video as well for nine dollars and ninety nine cents. And I have some things that Bahamians. Well, I'm from Nassau, from Nassau, Bahamas, greatest little city ever. And these are some of the things that Bahamians like to say: like you got hot breath, that means you have bad breath. Bongi is is butt. Frowsy and ugly. I'm gonna let you watch my videos to know what that's all about. Um, this is my Canon. I'm not filming with this today. I'm using my um, LG phone and this is a plant that I got from Target. Um, I can't remember if it's Magnolia or what the, um, what you call it is, what the brand is, but it was, Lord, let me see if I can lift this up. It was like $30 or so. I don't know. You know what? Yeah, I'll just put it down below. This was like $30, but I had this for, for a while. I had that for a while. And then I have my little, um, my weights on the floor over there. So over here by my door is this uh, jewelry holder. And I absolutely love this jewelry holder because I can put all my little, everything doesn't fit obviously because it only has a, a several prongs, like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight prongs. But it, it holds like my, it holds it holds a good number of my things um i don't have everything on here obviously but it's, it's not bad now the one thing i don't like about this is i was so excited about the prospect of putting my earrings um on this little mesh piece right here but here's the problem once you stick it in it's hard to to put the backing pieces on on the on the what you call, call it on the on the airing that is so difficult because once it's bold, you you would literally you would literally have to do it before you mount it, which makes no sense because then the time comes when you need to take it off, and it's just nonsensical. I wish they would would tweak that design because it's re it's a really nice piece. It really is. Um, I love the heart shape, and I spent what did I spend for this? I spent like eleven ninety nine in Marshalls for this. $11.99 yeah so that's basically it I mean I put up my signs over there I put up my what you call it my floating shelf over there I have my, my little um, fedoras please pardon my different paint right there um, and then I have my bed set and my ex-boyfriend over there let me see if I can zoom in on his ass yeah he got what he deserved yeah he definitely got what he deserved and but i'm really happy with all of my purchases i think like they they make my room feel so roomy <laughs> it just feels so comfortable guys and i love the fact that i didn't have to spend a lot of money like i love sh i again i have to say this is not a sponsored post if they'd like to sponsor my post they can sh surely come through and do it but i love going to those stores because you get a lot of designer items at a fraction of the cost and they're just beautiful it's all about your aesthetic and what you like i like yellow i like golds i like anything in that family i like things that make me feel you know warm and inviting and, and gold and yellows they definitely do that um but it doesn't take a lot of money it does not take a lot of money to make your room feel cozy anyway guys thank you so much for clicking on my thumbnail thank you so much for taking the time to watch my video trust me i i truly appreciate it um i hope you all enjoyed seeing my room and seeing all the little accents that i have inside of here that make my space very comfortable and i hope that you will you know go on your no you didn't
Anyway, guys, I want to thank you all so much for taking the time to watch me as I showed you guys what my room looked like and the pieces that I purchased to make it even cozier. You don't have to break the bank. I promise you. I remember I used to think I was one, well, not I used to think I was one of those people. I used to be one of those people who would spend a bunch of money in pair one. Y'all remember pair one. I'd be like, oh no, I have to, I have to have this from pair one. Yes, I have to. Oh, Marshalls? No, no, no. No, don't, don't shop at Marshalls. Then I went up in Marshalls and I saw a lot of stuff What I saw other places, more high-end places. I was like, child, please. Times have changed. So I go right up in those stores and I buy the things that, um, that, that attract me. Like I said before, I like for things to be, um, I like the accent pieces that just, you know, that have character, that have charm. And I know that you guys, if you're looking to revamp your bedroom, I just need you guys to know that you don't need to spend a lot of money. And I, I've said that a thousand times on my channel, but I, I need to keep saying that to drill that in to your head. Listen, five and below has a lot of great stuff. A lot of great stuff. It adds up. It adds up, but for $5 for a lot of things, trust me, you could really, if you have a dorm room, are kids still in dorms? Considering that, you know, we have COVID, but if you have a small room, all you have to do, guys, ladies and gentlemen, is keep it clean, keep it organized, find your aesthetic. If you have a nude aesthetic, if you have a white aesthetic, you like black and white, whatever it is, just keep the room clean, clutter-free, and just lay it out properly and have those nice little pieces that just will, you know, that'll make the room pop. And I promise you, you'll be so much happier in your space. Like this is my, this is my comfort zone. This is my space guys. So um, thanks again for watching. Oh, my thing just dropped. Thanks so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Do not forget to subscribe to my channel. My videos come out every Wednesday, 1 p.m. Eastern Standard Time without fail, because I'm consistent. And I don't want any excuses. I don't want to tell you guys. I was sick and so I couldn't do a video. Nope. I'm here every Wednesday at 1 p.m. So guys, please, please, please. I thank all of you who've already been subscribing to the channel. I see my numbers going up and I'm really, really grateful. But um, you got to subscribe. Uh, uh, you got to subscribe. If you want to see some more, uh, uh, you got to subscribe. Uh, uh, if you don't subscribe, uh, I ain't doing no more. Uh, uh, I ain't doing no more. Uh, uh, I ain't doing no more. Uh, you got to subscribe <laughs> and you guys are subscribing and that's why I'm doing more videos. So please keep it coming. Thank you so much. I love you all for watching. And I told y'all before in, other, in my other video, Wendy Williams stole that from me. She stole that from me, but I love you guys for watching. I thank you so much. And I'll see you guys next Wednesday, one o'clock Eastern standard time. Be safe. Bye.